Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing? Today we are going to be playing with the new BK Beauty lip products. So there are five different lipsticks that are available. And then there are also four different lip liners. So I thought that I would go through and do lip swatches of every single product so you can see what they all look like on the lips. And then I'll give you my thoughts at the end on the packaging, the formula, whether I recommend them. If you're new to my channel, I do a ton of content around independently owned makeup brands just like BK Beauty. So if you wanna see more of that, don't forget to subscribe and now let's jump on into the lip swatches. Just another doorway to open up and see what kind of lifeline will be waiting there for me. I need to bury all these fears and let them fade away. I'm not scared, I'm prepared. All right, so let's go ahead and jump on into my thoughts because I definitely have some things to say. As far as the range goes, these are all the lippies swatched out on my hand together and I feel like it is a very pink toned lipstick and lip liner range. If you don't like kind of more pinky, cool toned shades for your lips, then I would not recommend anything from this collection for you, um, which personally, pink toned lipsticks are not my absolute favorite. There are some here that I could see myself reaching for more, like the more mauve shades is what I would go for with pinks, but that's just something to keep in mind. As far as the lip liners go, and just the lip liners in general, the packaging, I'm kind of neutral about it. They do feel kind of similar to like NYX, Maybelline, ColourPop type of packaging for lip liners. I appreciate that all the shades are on the end so you can immediately see what you're grabbing for and not have to remember the shade name versus what the shade actually is. And then they also come with like that little slant to them, which I think is just personal preference. I don't really have any issues with it. It still works just fine. As far as the formula goes, these are super creamy, super pigmented, very emollient, and I don't know that that's my favorite for a lip liner. A lot of times I like something that has like, not that it's less pigmented, but just that you have to work a little bit harder to line your lips because it gives you more control. I feel like sometimes when lip liners are super creamy, they're not as precise and they're not as long wearing. Even when I was just wiping these off for the lip swatches, it was so easy to take off, which I feel like is kind of like the opposite idea of a lip liner, like the lip liner normally, like I line my full lips. If I'm going somewhere and I know that I'm gonna be wearing this lippy all day, I really want it to last, I'll do my full lip line. So I feel like these are not bad, but just not my personal preference. Again, if you like super, super creamy lip liners, these might be for you. And then as far as the shades for the lip liners, I think that it's all right. You've got like a pinky, like light, one, you've got like a warm neutral, more of like a raspberry hot pink, and then like a burgundy kind of pink. So I think the shade range there is all right. 
But now getting into the lipsticks, I'll start off with the packaging. I feel like the packaging is so nice. I really, really like it, especially because BK Beauty is like a little bit more luxe. So, you know, you expect luxe packaging. The first thing I noticed when I opened these was that they are so heavy. They also have like a really nice magnetic closure. They just feel super sturdy. They do not feel cheap at all. So that's definitely a plus, but I'm not fully in love with the shade range or the formula so as you can see the shades i just feel like between all of these they're all like pretty mid-tone pinks except for this one i just feel like there could definitely be a little bit more variety when it comes to the formula it's actually really funny because they feel so much like wayne goss's lipsticks like the smell the way they feel when you put them on, even some of the shades like the emolliency, the finish, so similar. But if you know, I actually really, really hate his lipstick formula because for some reason, the really light shades, that type of formula on my lips, like it just really looks terrible and it just like sticks to every line and crack and crevice and it just looks so unflattering. I think you'll kind of see that during the limb swatches that I wasn't super happy with how the lighter shades looked. Specifically, the shade Kindness, I think looked really, really bad on my lips. And then also the middle shade Self Love, this one right here, I thought did not look the best. The other shades, I felt like they had enough pigment in them and they stood up from my lips enough that the, like, the way that they were sticking wasn't as obvious and like this one, it's not doing the same thing as the lighter shades. I just felt like it looked so, so bad. So for me, I know a lot of people really like that formula from Wayne Goss. So if you tried his lighter shades and you liked the formula, then maybe you would like these. But if you had issues with those shades, then maybe you would have issues with these as well. So I'm kind of feeling like very like nah about this release. I was really, really excited about it. I do really like the packaging. I think that this shade right here and this shade, these two mauves, if I had to recommend anything, I feel like those two, Acceptance and Inner Beauty, are my favorite. And like I said, those ones didn't look funky on the lips, but just overall as a collection, I'm not super in love. I feel like there's other lippies that I would recommend first, other lippies that I would personally splurge on. So that's just my honest thoughts. I hope that I'm not being too negative, but I feel like you guys deserve full honesty. So yeah, that's that's where I'm at. I will keep playing with them and update you guys in the future. But so far, I'm just kind of meh, meh. So hopefully this was helpful. I would love to know if you do decide to pick up any of these or if you're going to be passing on this launch. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.